Welcome to module 3 of the API training series. In this module we're going to focus on the Groovy scripting language. So we'll talk very briefly about what Groovy is, why we've selected it, and how you can configure Groovy and be up and running and productive and trying out the Genealogix API via some of the uh, example scripts we have on the developer.genealogics.com website and as always there will be some exercises which allow you to have a play and apply the knowledge. So people become quite passionate about scripting languages there are many many out there and certainly almost all of them can be used to interact with the Genealogics API but we needed to standardize our content around one and so we chose Groovy as this. So you'll see that a lot of the examples in the developer website rely upon Groovy and present the code in Groovy. So why did we do that? Well it's clean, has an easy to understand syntax uh, especially compared to something like uh, assembler language. It has strong functionality for HTTP for manipulating XML and text files etc. It's supported by almost all major operating systems and it's used by the Genealogix Professional Services team as one of a number of tools. But if you're looking at the developer website you'll see the vast majority of the content there is presented in Groovy and it's this language that we'll use when we're playing with examples in these training sessions. So if you haven't already, you can configure your system and go and freely download and install Groovy. There are a number of preconditions that you'll likely need to do in order to be able to use this successfully. So the version that we are currently using is version 1.8 and that will also require you to have Java probably version 6 installed. And if you want to reference libraries of ex existing code from within your scripts, you'll probably need to play with the Groovy class path variable. If you're installing this on your server, as in the server that's running Clarity Limbs, particularly if you're using the external program plugin, it's probably a good idea to make sure that the GLS AI user, which is the user that is being um, or rather that the, the EPP node is running as. Make sure that the GLS AI user is configured to have access to the Groovy class path variable. And once you've got Groovy, in, Groovy installed it's probably time to have a play with some of the exercises and um, you can go ahead and go through many of the uh, example scripts on the cookbook resource that's part of developer.genealogics.com. For this exercise we'll focus on two. So 2a, renaming a sample. So we'll have a look at the script that does that. And 2b, updating a user-defined field. So it's probably a good place to stop this recording and let you have a go at those exercises. And the solutions will be covered in a separate recording. Thank you.